My name is Reginald Dwayne DeJeanette Jr. Nancy Romero. Catherine Aguilar. I'm Kendall Wright, and I am with Ward Economic Development Corporation. I am a community outreach coordinator, so I interface with a lot of the community and uh, some of the lower income housing residents that are housed at my site. I work in the in Boyle Heights community. I'm a job training and placement director, which sounds you know kind of fancy, but you know it's a very humbling experience. So what I do is that I I work in a shelter called uh, GHP, the Guadalupe Homeless Project, and there we have 50 homeless men. So the shelter allows for them to stay there for 90 days. So my responsibility is to help them find jobs. I also do teach English classes. Um, most of these men are, uh, you know, immigrants, and a lot of them they don't they don't speak they don't speak English. So I'm teaching them vocational English. The organization I'm with is BEDC, which is Valley Economic Development Center. At BEDC, they give loans to small businesses, and my job is to reach out to the community in Boyle Heights, in hopes to you know get those that want to start a business, you know, let them know like we're here, we're like a resource for you, and just let them know what we offer at BDC, which are workshops, financial literacy workshops, access to capital workshops, and yeah, we're pretty much like you know what they need to start up their own business. I am currently serving at the Youth Policy Institute in Hollywood. It's the Family Source Center, and the Youth Policy Institute um, helps to serve thousands I would say of youth and families every day and we really focus on um, providing opportunities um, and services from cradle to college and career. So what we're really working on is helping to revitalize a certain part of the Hollywood community, really um, zoning in on what the services that are lacking, what, are the, what do the community really want and need. The experience has been just phenomenal. It's been great. I'm learning something new every single day, whether it's a new term like RFP, what does this acronym mean? But it's just been really great. You know, being able to learn, you know, that, that's been important for me and I've been able to do that and learn how to manage relationships and, you know, just get the whole business side, you know, under my belt. So that's been pretty beneficial. The experience so far has been challenging. Um, but it's been also been very rewarding. Um, I wouldn't have asked for it to be any different. Uh, I think that I've definitely gotten some real world experience, which is what I seeked out. And um, I know that, that I'll always carry it with me. It's exactly what I, what I came to do. So far, I found the experience to be very humbling, uh, very rewarding. Um, at first, I, I was a little bit you know, overwhelmed because I've never had the title of a job training placement director, uh, but I think I'm falling more into place. I've definitely fallen in love with Boyle Heights. Being here means a lot to me, and I think the experience overall is just, you know, my opportunity to give back and, you know, to meet a lot of people that resonate with me. What I hope to accomplish during my time as a Lisk America member would be to be proactive in the steps of helping the clients, meaning, you know, the men that I work with, uh, transition into a permanent permanent housing and also uh, finding jobs. I really want to um, learn how to become a better leader in my community, learn how to engage people, learn what works and what doesn't work in the community organizing, community building, community development in general. And um, for, for my community members, specifically in Hollywood that I'm working with, I really hope to empower all of these um, residents to really learn about the stuff that is going on in their neighborhood and really try to make a difference, really participate in community meetings, really go to um, go to the city council if they have a problem about something. I've been diligently working to make sure that it's something that I can be proud of and that they can be proud of when I leave and that my 10 months mean something after. I hope to make some kind of print in Boyle Heights, you know, they recognize my face, like they know that I was there actually doing something and I actually made a difference some kind of way. Yeah, that's what I hope to get from it.